The life of a recently resettled refugee is often chaotic and unsettling, with no sense of belonging or direction. Quite often, refugees flee fearing for their safety. Once arriving in the United States, a world of bureaucratic chaos awaits them. While grateful for the opportunity to be out of harm's way, disappointment quickly sets in when they realize they can't go home, they can't practice their profession, and that their once calm minds may now be filled with traumatic thoughts. Let me tell you about one particular South Asian man. He fled religious and ethnic persecution in his home country and had been suffering from a chronic mental illness long before his arrival to the United States. In our first session together, he identified himself as being sick, having a mental condition, and not being able to work or function in society. Fast forward to almost one year later, during our last session together, as he began to move through his year-long journey in therapy, which reflected his experiences of acculturation and adjustment, he said to me, I want to move on my own this time. He had always wanted me to move with him in therapy, but this time I was solely a witness to his experience. His movements were at first very chaotic and indirect, reflecting back to his first days on U.S. soil. His hands were bound tightly as he circled them around his body, almost like a spinning top, eventually slowing but continuing in a hover-like motion. I also felt the dizzying effects in my own body and needed to monitor my ability to stay grounded and present. He continued to embody the stigma of mental illness, the ever-present financial stress, his difficulties communicating in English, and his battles with the American social system. He began to move through his own adaptation of Le Bon's dimensional scale, which dance movement therapists use to help promote feelings of stability and organization in the body. As he followed the movement of his hand as it crossed the midline of his body, he stated, this is when I realized I could work. This man whose being and outlook on life encompassed a lack of self-worth was able to take on a part-time job and feel something he had not felt in a very long time, a sense of security and self-reliance. His movements that were once chaotic and indirect began to transform into movements showing confidence and stability. His seemingly simple statement, I want to move on my own this time, not only reflected his journey towards an identity of health and hope, but also his acknowledgement of his own internal supports and strength. As therapists, we hope that the change facilitated in the therapy room translates to everyday life. His statement sums up what I hope for all of my participants. I want everyone to say to me, I want to move on my own this time. If we can get to this place, we know the seeds of hope are firmly sown into our future soil.